Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I have an amazing way to simplify working with LED light strips to make a customized display. I've done a lot of projects with LED light strips and had a lot of fun with them, but there can be a hassle once you've cut the strips and want to reconnect them to conveniently make them work again. But I have an easy way that starts with cutting the strips to the links that you're going to need. If you want more information about cutting and reconnecting strips and how that works, check out my previous video where I made a color changing light box. I'm going to spend a little bit of time just going through the prep steps that I use to get ready to reconnect each of the strips. And then I'm going to spend most of the time in this video showing you the awesome way that I have now begun reconnecting the strips so I can make a display that looks like this with relative ease. Whenever I'm working on a project, I really prefer just to use parts that I already have, and this 22 gauge wire is exactly in that category. Preferably, I would probably want to use an 18 gauge or maybe a 20 gauge wire, but I have this, so this is what we're working with today. Two common hassles with using wire to connect LED strips is having to strip the ends and having to solder them back onto the LED strips. But there's options that you can choose to avoid doing this. F funny thing is when I bought the wire that I'm using today, it came with these connectors, which you can't actually connect to the wires themselves. So it's kind of a useless pairing in my mind. When you're putting customized sections of LED strips in a bookcase, a built-in, or basically anything else, the two ends that you need to connect may have different lengths apart, and that's where being able to have a custom length of wire is very important. These particular connectors are awesome, and I've had great success using them doing several projects already. I like to start by putting the connectors on the LED strips, and I start by putting one on each end of every strip that I'm going to be working with. Once you have the pins lined up with the strip tabs, all you have to do is pinch it shut. I will show that in a little bit more detail when we get to the point where we're connecting the wires. The process is the exact same. Once you have connectors added to the ends of each of your LED strips, all you have to do is put a wire in between them and complete the connections. The other side of the connector is actually different and there is a groove for each section of the wire that needs to be connected. You simply get them slid inside and pinch them down and the connection will be completed automatically. I do like to spread the ends of the wires open a little bit just to make sure I've got them lined up perfectly inside each of those little channels. And yes, I will double and sometimes triple check to make sure I connect blue to blue, red to red, green to green, and voltage to voltage between each section. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem with your LED strips, so it's worth doing the double check. On each side of the clear plastic cover, there is a little tab that when you press it down, will lock into place. If you can't press it tight enough with your fingers, some pliers or something else to give you a little extra leverage can be used carefully to just push it down until you hear that subtle little click that lets you know that everything is locked firmly in place and you can actually do a gentle tug on it and you'll find that neither side of this connector will come undone. Everything is very secure. And there you have it, an extremely fast, easy, and efficient way to reconnect your LED strips to allow you to make some amazing projects. No need to waste time stripping the ends of wires or finding a weird way to get into an angle where you can actually re-solder your connections on an installation that looks like this. It's just overall a lot easier. I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my video. If you got something out of it, or better yet, tried out these connectors, let me know how it turned out for you by leaving a comment below. While you're here, I would really appreciate it if you could go ahead and click that thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notifications for future videos because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.